What's up guys, my name is Casey and this is my 2021 Can-Am Riker 600. What's up guys? Thank you for joining me. Today we got a fun one for you. We're installing the Bill Ramsay grill guard for the Can-Am Riker. Let's check it out. Alright, so here's the grill guard itself. It does come labeled. Got all your hardware down here. It does come with zip ties and bolts depending on how you want to attach it. Label for sharp edges for obvious reasons. And the top and the front label so you know where the uh, grill guard should lie. So if you guys are looking for a nice, reliable, sturdy grill guard, contact Bill Ramsayer on Facebook. He's really responsive, really cool guy, and his price is really nice too. Okay, wait, hold on one second. So for the folks who are like, oh man, I can go down to the hardware store, get some expanded metal, and trim it to fit the, the grill, don't, don't do that. The stuff at the hardware store is not as sturdy and reliable as what he has. He has to trim his with an angle grinder. Kind of gives you an idea on how sturdy and thick this metal is. The other stuff you can trim with tin snips. Not reliable. Bill Ramsayer stuff is the way to go. If you're trying to protect your bike, don't go cheap, man. Don't go cheap. All right, guys. So what you'll need for this one, you need a T30 Torx bit. Hopefully I can get that to focus. There we go. T30 Torx bit looks like that. It is not the security version, which has the dot in the center. A wrench and some wire cutters for the zip ties. I am using the zip tie method, so I don't need any of the sockets or anything. All right, guys, so first things first, we gotta take off the hood. I'll show you guys how to do that really quick. So there's one tab on each side, feeling right here. Your, your fingers might hit the other part of the tab, which you might think is the tab, but it's not the tab. Go a little bit below that. You'll find the tab. You push up on those, you pull down on the hood, and it should come right off. So as I was saying, guys, whenever you're taking the hood off, a lot of people's fingers will hit this, and they'll think they're not getting anywhere. You guys need to hit the more flimsy part of the hood right there. That is the one you need to push right there and pull off. All right, guys, now that we got the hood off and place it over in a safe spot so it's not going to get scratched or anything, we're going to have to remove two bolts underneath the fender here using the T30 Torx. They're located right here. I'll show you underneath. I'm gonna give you an underview of where the bolts are so you guys know exactly where they're at. So if I can get this to focus right, that'd be awesome. If not, it's okay. There's one right there. The other one is right there. And for reaching reference, the bolt is right here, a little bit further back behind here. So in between these two posts right here. And same for the other side, it's right back here in between those. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the fender. Be back with you guys in a second. Now that we got the fender, the grill off, I'm gonna show you how these connect. So the edge of the grill connects into this area right here. So this little tab right here will slide right into this groove right here. That'll go in. And then this top portion right here will slide right back in behind this area right here. So it should just click in right after that. Same for both sides. And let's get to the install. Just as knowledge, it does take a little bit of finagling to get the these portions off just because they're a little bit difficult. You might think you're gonna break something. Chances are you're not going to, but just don't be too rough with it, but don't be afraid to pull it. And at this portion, guys, if you guys wanted to, you guys can clean your radiator because I've got a lot of bugs and stuff in there. I don't have any rocks in there, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. But yeah, feel free to clean it. Also guys, whenever you guys are taking off the fender, these little tabs, one and two, are gonna fit back into these little spots right there. 
those should just shove on. Now that your grill has a nice soft place to sit because you don't want to scratch up your, your grill and your fender, go ahead and drop the grill in. This is how it's supposed to fit. So on your grill, there's going to be a lot of cuts up here, a lot of cuts up here, and not so many down here. The place with a lot of cuts is going to go towards the top of the grill, top over here. And also, there are going to be bends in the grill. The bends are going to go towards the front of the bike. So since I'm using the zip tie method, I got my zip ties right here. What you want to do is try to line up the grill so that way one of the diamond patterns, one of the X's like this, is lined right up with the posts, one of the posts on the grill. So the one I'm going to be using, the one that's recommended, is the first post right here, right under the last grill line, just right under there. It kind of hides where the zip tie is. And then the second one is going to go right up here, under the first grill line, right under that post as well. So right along this line right here, and the same thing on the other side. So I got the zip ties on. I left them hanging up here, so that way you guys know exactly where I'm putting these. Hopefully you can see those right there, right there, right there, and right there. Um, obviously trim the zip tie, the rest of the zip ties off, and then you're good to go, and we'll put this thing back on. All right guys, now that we have everything zip tied in, everything's trimmed up real nice, we're gonna put this guy back on, and then we'll be finished. So this, those grommets will line up with each other. There. Those go in there. That's gonna have to line up in there. I stated before. That's Now that everything is where it needs to be, don't forget to put your bolts back on and then you'll be good to go. Last thing we gotta do is put the hood back on and we're done. All right, yep, so we line the top pieces up where they need to be, where I said before. Make sure the bottom clips into the bottom there. And then you just shove forward. Has that nice satisfying click. Now your hood's back on. And this is how bad this baby should look. Matches the paint on the removable panels up there. Man, that, that just looks sick. So sick. Oh, and from the front view, where I put the zip ties, I put them right under this on this post, right under this on this post, and the same thing on this side, right there and right there. All right guys, and that's the install. Not crazy hard. In fact, it was super easy. And just for the record guys, I'm 5'5", 120 pounds, soaking wet. I have basically no mechanical knowledge of really anything. And it was, it was extremely easy. And I hope, I know there's a lot of videos around there showing the install and how you do it. I just wanted to provide my take on it just in case some people find mine easier or maybe they missed a few things in the other videos that I might have covered that's fine so thanks guys for watching I appreciate it so much don't forget to like comment subscribe all that crazy goodness I will drop our Venmo in the description or other on the video so you guys can donate I can get a GoPro I've got my iPhone that's it I've got my iPhone I don't have a GoPro I don't have microphones I don't have any of that fancy stuff I would like to start doing uh, writing vlogs. That'd be really cool. So I'll drop that in there. I would like to give a shout out to Bill Ramsayer and BLR Tuning for being awesome people. Bill was a great person to work with. Everything arrived pretty quickly. He was very responsive to all my messages. He'd be a great guy to order from. Again, thank you for watching. See you on the next one.